Tack of the Show, TV's only source for all the stuff you care about. We are live and ready to turn the magazine business into a game of show and tell. Yeah, you know, you most often hear the words Maxim, Cracked, Massive, and Skunk you know, used in um, Hollywood Boulevard peep booth. But today, <laughs> we're dragging them out of the dark and throwing them all over Olivia's rack. Throwing them all over that thing. <laughs> Here is the latest on newsstands now. This month's Maxim shows you how to read anyone's <laughs> body language to get a girl, avoid a fight, get that job, or win a poker game, much like I did last night on Texas Hold'em with Kevin on Xbox Live. Mm -hmm. Yep, everything you'll ever need to know if you visit the Playboy Mansion is in this magazine. A tip for the guys, if a girl shows you her wrist, it's hot. Really? It's on. I thought yeah. if, it was if she showed you, like, the triangular Velcro patch, you know, like... That would, be a, that would be a good tip off to Kevin. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Next is Cracked Magazine. Besides the hilarious wine frat comic on page 18, Cracked offers the, their list of the 15 funniest people of 2006. We love us yes. John Hodgman, mm -hmm. the Daily Show's resident expert. And even though he's number 15, he's got the biggest picture on the page. Some other big names on the list, Andy Samberg at number 13, Sasha Baron Cohen at number 2, and Jack Black at number 1. Kevin's doing a little oh. bit of a suck-in. <laughs> a little bit. I'm just, I'm winded. Uh, no, you know, I, I, they're funny guys for sure. I just, I hope the pick of destiny doesn't suck. If that movie rocks like I hope it does, yeah. then Jack Black totally deserves that You just spot. don't think Jack Black has really been living up He's to been it. coasting off of some really funny Tenacious D stuff. I think, I think. I still think he's hilarious. You know, love to work with you. <laughs> I just, why do I burn all my bridges? You burn all of your bridges. Really Let's, let me just move on. Next is Massive Magazine, a magazine devoted entirely to massively multiplayer online games. Yes. It even has an advice column asked, called Ask Dr. MMO Really. But I especially like the article on emotes. Emotes, Kevin, are actions you can make your MMO character right. do to express your feelings, like if you're happy or sad, or if you want to do like a wink. Right. Or you can do like hearts know, coming out of your eyes, you can do a smiley. I know if what you emotes don't, are. If you don't know what it is, here I, is an I actual do. quote from the article. If I kill a gnome, I'll often do a slash niff followed by a slash lick. Right. That would work better if I was undead because I could add a slash cannibalize at the end. See what, it, see what he did there? Mm -hmm. He is explaining how if you want to express your emotion, right, I know what you they can are. do with um, like smiley face things. And they're I, really I, funny. They're little things you can put in, and they do a lot of different things. If you, I'll show you, you know what? I'll show you later. You, you look they, should add, they should add a forward slash Lipton. Then you just drop the old tea bag on the dead corpse. I'm just saying. That's why you're not allowed to talk sometimes. I told you I knew what they were, and you kept prodding. And finally... Tiger's going to buy it. <laughs> and finally, Skunk Magazine, which keeps the casual weed fan entertained <laughs> and informed at the same time. Yes, there casual are casual... Casual weed fans. This isn't for the guy that's scraping bong resin out <laughs> no, at 3 in the morning, the praying to God one. Domino's is still open. There is plenty of growing tips for you farmers <laughs> and reviews of high-tech tobacco vaporizers. Whoa. My favorite thing in this magazine, though, is the Martha Stewart-inspired lemon blunt cake. But, um, <laughs> the blunt cake? Yeah, but we're, we're pretty sure that most readers are getting as far as, like, mixing the, the ingredients and then just eating the batter. Can't blame them. Yeah, it sounds like something you would I'd do. I'd lick it right off the beater. Yeah. <laughs> and do it on, like, the little gum Just action. rub it on your gum. <laughs> mm, blunt cake. Oh, I found something interesting, actually. I know this, yeah. is, uh, this is all about your rack, but this is, sort yeah. of involves you in Complex Magazine because you're in there. Mm, look at that's you. That's me. Interesting. What's the, uh, you're, you got your five favorite video game picks, which yeah. I'll talk about in a second, but what's the face there? What's going on? My, uh, it's. It's just a photo shoot. It's sultry. It, it was I like in a it. warehouse and it was sweaty and Ooh. there was wind and I was looking over my shoulder. Wow. Isn't that wow. fun? Uh, like top I did five that? game picks you know, with Uno on there? You know, it, Uno was not on there, but it will be from now on because we played Uno Xbox Live mm -hmm. and I kicked butt the very first. Dominated. First. Dominated. Well Thank done. you. Well Thank done. you very much. We had the webcam. It was awesome. Everyone, that is my rack. Check out G4TV.com for a recap of this week's magazines and you can find all of them on newsstands right now. Stay with us. There's lots more show ahead when Attack of the Show... At you know, Olivia, uh, they're of the earth. Uh, you know, I love the smell <laughs> of a cigar. It reminds me of my the time I hung out with my best friend, William Shatner. He was me just too. here. Did you see him? Oh, yeah. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to a live Attack of the Show. We are ready to take the show south of the border. You know what I mean? I know exactly what Thanks. you mean. I recently went to Mexico City to cover the electronic game show at the Mexican <laughs> E3. Give me that. Just stop it. I tested out via Wii, I mocked the PlayStation 3, and I witnessed the WCG 2006 Pan American Games. What's up, everybody? Kevin Pereira coming to you from the land that brought you tacos, Telemundo, and tequila, Mexico City. And behind me, a never-ending line of gamers waiting to get inside EGS, sort of the Mexican A Trace, if you will. So we're going to head inside as well and show you what gamers have going on south of the border. Let's do it.
While a relative newcomer at only five years old, EGS is turning into one of the premier gaming conventions, bringing out the business's heaviest hitters. But the real reason for my mission to Mexico City was to put the latest consoles to the test. PlayStation 3 versus the Wii. Here we are up top in the Sony PlayStation 3 booth, and they have spared no expense when it comes to EGS. As you can see, tons of high-def screens behind us, and the first ever chance for Latin American gamers to get their hands on the glass case that's surrounding the non-playable PlayStation 3. Wow, EGS, feel the excitement. <laughs> it's still not playable. After the PlayStation 3 letdown, I headed on over to see if the Wii was ready for a workout, and Nintendo's Reggie fils me didn't disappoint. Here in our booth, we have WarioWare, we have Sports, we have Zelda, we have Excite Truck. Across the way is Red Steel, the Atomics. They've got uh, Wii Tennis exclusive to them, so it's a fantastic opportunity here. And an opportunity I couldn't pass up, so I tried them all. Driving, slashing, and shooting like a madman. Oh, oh, come on! Oh, oh, come on! No dodging! Oh, oh. No dodging! But EGS is not just about showcasing the latest and greatest in the gaming industry. This year, it added to its street cred by hosting the WCG 2006 Pan American Game. Gamers from all over North and South America are here in Mexico City battling it out in everything from Madden to Mario Kart to determine who's the greatest and who's going to take home the giant oversized yogurts. Now listen, I know when you hear it's the Mexican E3, it's easy to giggle and think of sombreros and maracas, haha. But after roaming the halls of EGS, even for just a few short hours, you realize they've got world-class gaming competition, all the major players out here showing off their latest and greatest, and the serious, hardcore gamers eating it up. If you ever get the chance, go south of the border, check out EGS. On a side note, I was really hoping for a churro stand. They, they honestly don't have one, and it's, it's, it's ridiculous. That looks just like the American E3. It totally does. And I love churros, too. Agreed. Stay tuned for more EGS coverage tomorrow and see what happens when I box the president of Nintendo. Mm. Wow. A Pereira beatdown? Oh, <laughs> I, I got to see that. Stick around. You're watching TV's only source for all the stuff you care about. Let's go. Oh, okay. Go. Okay, no. All right, my name's Adam. I'm going to go run here and shoot. If you haven't been watching Attack of the Show, <laughs> this is what you're missing. <laughs> for more info, go to g4tv.com slash AOTS. Thank you.